Welcome back. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to another. I mean, it's a junk view. It's a junk view, and we love them. This is a. This is one in a series of junk views, and we started here for a reason. This is again unnecessary information that no one asked for, but we'll give you some behind the scenes. We've got three. There are three sets of tires right right over here. We are testing a specific set of tires first because based on prior knowledge, and I've done this a couple times, I think these are going to be pretty bad. I didn't want to end with the pretty bad ones, and I didn't want to put the pretty bad ones in the middle. It seemed most smartishness to put the bad ones first because then we can, we'll, we'll have cleared our pallets. A, they're class one, and I can't drive class one nearly at all. I wanted to use an expletive to describe how bad my ability to ride drive class one is. So we're going to do them class, we're, we're going to do them first. The JD model Trepador. And yeah, they are, they are Trepador E. Here is an axial. I'm going to the monster tire rack here. Yeah, I get it. Definitely more squared off than a regular trepidor. What do the, what do they say these are? Four point six. Oh, I'm skeptical about that because these are like four one nines. They are also. I beg, I, I beg everyone's problem. This is an indicator that we, we might be in for trouble, which is like. Eh. They, they feel like sporting equipment. Uh, the, and, and it comes down to the carcass. Like across the back here, the carcass has got to be, I, I want to say, four millimeters thick, maybe five. It feels like the sidewall is a full three millimeters thick. They're crazy thick. They're also crazy skinny, as one would expect of a class one. I mean, I know that they're trying to claim they're not class ones. They are 109, 110 millimeters. That's a class one. Where's that trepidor which claims to be 4.6? These are 112. Doing the math here. Four. Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, so 106. I'm doing I'm doing more math. 106 would be a class one. So these are a hair above a class one. These are just very small. Because when I think 4.6, I think 4.65 like a canyon trail. And if you put two of these together, you have a canyon trail. So also width-wise, well, 40. They look a lot skinnier to me. 40 is not terrible, but I guess we're used to stuff that's around 50. So anyway, when we're sitting like that, if we put a conventional 24 millimeter ring in these, they're going to be just blocked out, just blown out on the sides. So we have resorted to some elder Benedict Harry's. These go way back in Canyon terms. Uh, that's what we're opting to run these on. And for better or for worse, the included foam, it's just a straight medium. Um, these are so firm. Honestly, I think you could almost get away with no foam. I know that in this size, I don't have a foam soft enough to, to, to put in this. I just, I just don't. So it, it's getting a medium. And I don't know if the medium is going to make any difference because the tire is a, is a Chevy video from the 1990s. It is, it is like Chevy, like a rock. That's Chevy, right? Is that Bob Seeger? Anyway, these are the, these are <laughs> some of the firmest tires I've ever felt. Uh, and, and because of that firmness, I am, uh, organizing the other tires so that I can mount this one correctly. I have made this mistake before. So that's a pair and that's that one. I need this one. Okay. Yeah. You definitely don't need uh, bubble juice for these. I say bubble juice for everything in general because it just makes assembly easier. But I've never really taken into account a tire this 
hard. This tire is firm and hard, and it feels like when I took it out of its little package, and the way stuff comes from Alley Express now, it's generally just wrapped in like, like a Tyvek material and then covered in tape. Yeah, these could be their own packaging. These tires are firm enough to be their own packaging. There's, there's no give to them at all. So I expect spinning. I expect loud noises. So this is a lowering of the expectations to the point that I, I don't think we can lower them anymore. It, oh, yeah. Incomplete thought. When I pulled them out of the plastic... These feel basically like what a bicycle tire feels like. Like if you were pulling a tire out to put on your Schwinn. These feel like that. They're so, they're so hard. You could definitely, I mean. Oh. It almost holds Susan up. They'll deflect, I mean. Susan is made of <laughs> medium density fiber work. She probably weighs about eight, seven, eight pounds. So about the weight of a rig. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I stand by. So our man that tests things in class one is Wiley, who's gotten some work. We'll talk about that for a second. Like 4.3. Yeah, right. Like. It might as well, if it's not a class one, it might as well be. It, it, so it's like, it's not a class one legal class one, but in spirit it is. Wiley, since the last time you saw him, got a shock upgrade. These are Diablo's old shocks, which he needed because if you watched that episode, the Desert Lizards were not... They were not working as set up. Also, these rims cannot be the rims for class one testing as the the hex, they, they use that weird hex. This bolt pattern is not a regular SLW, so I can't just put a different hub on it. That hub is so thick that, and these are stock width hexes. You can't fit a narrower hex on because what will happen is the wheels will bottom out on either the deletes or the hubs. And as you can see, it's already been happening before. You'll, you'll see a little line of like metal where the inner hub has been rubbing. The Charisma axle is a little strange. Uh, because of the thickness of this, I'm only getting like four threads on. Hopefully... A wheel is not going to fall off. Like we're not, we're not even near the nylon. That's that's a problem. Uh, as his suspension was getting upgraded, I was looking around for a thinner hex so that we could move the tires in more. And it, I do, I don't have it. I don't have anything that will fit. I also had to take his what do they call them? Deletes, lockouts. I had to take his lockouts on the rear and take them over and turn them down on the lathe because the plastic that retains the bearing was so thick. They were polished brass on the end from the hex, just rubbing on them constantly. They're shimmed out now. Like, we can't go in, but we can still move out. There's a lot of play in these axles. No, there's a lot of play in those axles. This one is fine. So, we, we, we will see. The suspension feels great, and the suspension is as good as it's going to get. Like, he sits down pretty much perfectly. It's the amount of compression that I wanted. You are going to witness no deflection from these tires. Like, like none. They, th what? I have got to find, I've got to find rims with the most positive offset that I can to try to pull them back in. That is a standard with like a nine millimeter hub. And yeah, it's a little thicker, so that's pushing it out a couple millimeters. But I mean, look at this. Look at the track width relative. To, it's crazy. That's charisma stuff, though. That's That has nothing to do with these, what are almost certain to be terrible tires. 
just just terrible. He runs day to day on dirt tracks pivots, on hot storms, on custom canyon custom inserts, and they're great. So we have a bar that is set unnaturally high. We're gonna we're gonna find out what happens though. Like these are, in my estimation as a non-industry, non-professional. These are the hardest RC car tires I've ever felt. Let's see how that translates. I was going to make a preemptive, presumptive statement, but we won't. We're going to hit Slick Rock first, and then I'm gonna fulfill my own prophecy. And that prophecy is this. We're only going to give this poor guy and Wiley. There's an old phrase about, hey, you got to earn your stripes. Buddy, you're earning your stripes today. We're only going to spend so long at each obstacle. If this can actually make this, it will be, let's just say what it is, unbelievable. Now, what we have here, and I don't know the camera is showing it very well. The driver's front tire is basically at full, it's tipped all the way over as far as it will go. But because the sidewall is so stiff it's hung on that rock under the passenger front and it won't flip over because the tire is basically solid. It has a foam in it, but the tire is so hard. The carcass of the tire itself is so hard. I don't think that the foam is really doing much of anything. The tire with the foam in it feels exactly the same as the tire with no foam in it. We could stay right here all day. Full throttle. It, we can't even get to a situation, a situation where I can talk about level of grip. It's so hard. Oh my. All right, the fact that it made it up <laughs> kind of amazing. Yeah, you have no you have no usable steer angle. Like like none. Because the tire grips sporadically and unpredictably. <laughs> it's gonna rub like crazy because nothing to do with the tire, just the fact that like, why is this rig trying to be so wide when it's sold so narrow? Oh. That is, as they say, the stuff. Listen to that. Let's, let's get into a real blood noise pit. Yeah, we have no, wait, wait, wait for it. Hold on, wait. Yeah, we got we got we we hit, we got to put some kind of a time limit on this. I haven't determined what that is yet. Oh, and oh, here's the double problem, triple problem maybe. Could just be me. That looks pretty good, like the wheel and the tire. I 
just fed that. I just fed that. I have arbitrarily chosen 90 seconds. That's the number. So we're not going for finesse. We're just going to mash our way into each obstacle line. Because, I mean, that right there, 90 seconds seems excessive. Uh, I love the soft. You can basically put this into any position that you want. It will never generate enough traction for you to actually do anything. They're so hard. They're, they're, they're unbelievably hard. Like, th this isn't even a compound. This is the rubber of, an, of a more inexpensive, like a, like a big box store bicycle. If you go and buy a, do they still make Murray? Is that still a thing? What are the cheap store brand bicycles now? Like, for me it was Huffy and Murray and etc. If you were to go buy a bicycle at the Target or the Walmart, it would have tires on it made out of basically this kind. Have you ever seen a tire that under full throttle has slid backwards that far? I have. And I'm pretty sure I went over even, I, I can't obey even my own arbitrarily placed 90 second limit. So we've got 90 seconds for this and the side hill, so we got to That counts, that counts. Uh, so it's like a two, it's done, it's, uh oh. It's done, it's done two things. Now honestly, oh man, if we can get, Okay, his suspension is very soft. This is Diablo's old suspension. It's very soft. I can't, I can't even get on. I was gonna say that like, sidewall flex is non-existent. And it is. But also grip is not existent, so we can't. I can't even get on to the obstacle. This is like taking a streetcar out here. I'm going to count that. Half a point. 90, 90 seconds for the beast if we can. Yeah, no. Nope. Just going straight to the shuttle because if we can get to the shuttle. That's half a point. But I don't think we're gonna get, I don't think we're gonna get anything res Oh, nope. <laughs> I've never seen so much backslide in a tire. Like. You can do reverse donuts. You can't do reverse donuts, that's not a thing. We have no chance. This isn't even a clearance issue. Like, I'm I'm slowly figuring the clearance thing out. There, any forward progress we get is close enough as to what, be what I would consider unpredictable. And I, by that, I don't want to lessen it. I mean, impossible to predict. You can't go full throttle here. That's not a thing. But here we are. 
This is where we all collectively as a group become thankful for arbitrary limits on thinking. Although that, you know, that was okay. Am I figuring it out? No. Maybe, maybe I am figuring it out. Oh, oh. stuff in places you didn't think you could actually get into in the first place. That was a that was a Prince Valiant of an effort. Half a point. Th uh, here's the thing. This is a test that maybe this, this may, this is pioneer stuff here. We're testing a tire where we're basically only testing the tread shape. Nothing else is working. I can't call, I mean, technically there's a compound, different things were put together to make this rubber. I don't think it was I don't think any thought was put into it. I don't think it was deliberate. You have to use so much throttle that it's just, it's pure lug shape. So I think the Trepador, with that amount of chevroning that we have to the center lug, I think it's a pretty good tread. They are hard though. Like, you could put these on, what's that Kyosho, the two wheel drive short course truck? Rampage? Something like that? You could put this on there. Like, these would be, you could take these on the street, you could take these on the, this is not a crawler tire. You, you can't, I would go so far as to argue you can't crawl these tires. Like, okay, they're so hard that when I give it a little blip of reverse to like reset, they just roll away. That bounce, if, if you knew, half a point, if you knew one and all how soft that suspension is, and the suspension is perfect has just the right amount of exposed shock shaft at ride height. We, we recognize there's no chance. Of that. Not today, not on this. I can't, I, I genuinely can't work through how hard these tires are. And we make it to the transition where, like if this has a chance to do anything above half a point, it would be here. effectively looks be damned we're effectively rock crawling on a non rock crawler tire these would be great on some sort of small short course ish sort of a truck like a proper tenth scale they make me think short course certainly more than they make me think rock crawl and because they're so firm they don't appear to care about the dirt at all yeah, transitioning is, well, again, not just transition. Anything that you would mistakenly <laughs> call a rock crawling attribute, like the ability to transition from a dirt surface to a rock surface, that's a rock crawling thing. These are not rock crawling types. That said, I had no expectations and they've lived up to the no expectations. Maybe a little better. I get all the one. The slide. Like th that's not drag brake. Those tires are locked out. They're just, 
it's something else entirely. These are not rock crawling tires. These are not trail tires. Like, oh, that was pretty close. This CG is nice and low. Uh, Wiley is a light boy because no bumpers with the integrated bumpers in the body. Uh, he he's on wheels a lot. I kind of wanted to. Well, we, we, his body is still pretty pristine, and he's a test rig, so no. Sir, you need to fall on your side. We at least want to test the whip. And I think the whip should be pretty good. If he makes it, it counts. Woo! Yeah, but we, we're not... We're not rock crawling. Uh, we're not rock bouncing. We're rock bashing right now. I guess these are rock basher tires. Okay, if I go full lock and then whip it. No. He apparently only lands on lid. So let's intervene. Actually, I'm remembering now. I think Wiley's body. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, still better than a base camp. Uh, it's got that tapered cab. So it wants to kind of tilt in on itself like that. Where have we arrived? The JD model Trepidor is not a rock crawling tire. I didn't, I didn't look closely at the listing. As I said, these were sent in by lovely, loyal, devoted, beautiful, you beautiful people, you followers, you supporters of the Canyon. These were sent in because somebody was like, I just want to see you test these. And here they are. And I had three sets come in in the span of about 36 hours. Forgive me for not being able to remember who sent what. I know the three of you. Uh... And now, oh, come on. Don't, don't do this. Brain, brain. Three sets of tires are sent in that are all going to be tested in this junk view trifecta. Andrew Rasu. Uh, Yaron Fachi from Israel. Uh, I think Andrew Rasu. He said Eastern Europe. But I'm not sure which one. Shout down in the comments below, Andrew. Where, what, what, what Eastern European country are you from? And then the third set, whichever set that might be, is, uh, er, er, is the, the now famous Erwin Adrianson from Belgium. So those were the three that sent in the sets. Uh, I can't remember who sent the Trepidors. If you sent the Trepidors, comment down below. This is not a rock crawling tire. If it was listed as such, they have lied to us one and all. It's a bashing tire. If, I want to say out, Outlaw, Outlaw Rampage, Rampage Outlaw. It's, Kyosho's got this two wheel drive short course truck that's IFS in the front and in the back. It's kind of live axle, but it's really more like a floating gearbox. I've actually been really intrigued by it, but then I thought, where am I going to drive it? So I haven't pulled the trigger on one, but like every time I see it, I go, I don't know. That looks pretty interesting. I feel like these tires would be perfect for an application like that. They certainly don't work for this. These are not rock crawling tires. You can't rock crawl with them. Uh, numerical score? Like, how do you want to do it? Do you want to do, you want to do it as wine? Okay, we'll give it, <laughs> I'll give it a wine score. If a rupture is some sort of, I don't know wine, if some sort of gold label, gold medal, uh, uh, judges, selection, choice, whatever. Like if it's wine of the year, 2020 insert number after that, this is kind of a stinky vinegar. Like, like the vinegar that if you open the bottle and you whiffed it, knowing that you need to use vinegar, you would debate for a minute if you're gonna save it to dye Easter eggs with or just throw it away. I would say save it to dye Easter eggs with. It's a, in rock crawling terms, it's a terrible tire. But in tire terms, it's still a tire? You might be able to use it for something. Maybe you have a scale tugboat and you need tires to hang off the side for when you pull into the dock. They'd be great for that. Yeah, but not a rock crawling tire. So I can't even be mad at it. I hope you're not mad at it. I hope you have decided many things all at once. 
or not even, or subconsciously, like you didn't even know you decided to comment below, to leave a like, to subscribe if you haven't, to at least for a fleeting moment, consider a channel membership. Yeah, just do those things. Oh yeah, and lest we forget, in between now and when we meet again, whenever that might be, whether it might be tomorrow, whether you might watch an old video right after this one, whenever we cross paths again, in between this moment and that moment, I would like you one and all to do your very best to have a good one, everybody. We will see you next time here in the canyon with good stuff, nonsense, whatever. Whatever. Content. I'll provide content.